what we thought was humans trying to break into the place or come up here. We were remodeling, and we weren't staying over here all the time. We thought there were people running through the woods. We shot at them. <laughs> <laughs> We've called the sheriff's department out here several times. Nobody could ever, you know, nobody ever found anything. My son chased him, you know. Uh, never could catch up with anybody. And um, that went on for a long time. And uh, probably what really brought it to a head was uh, rented a backhoe and went to dig the ditches. And when I did that, they uh, were throwing stuff at me, <laughs> mud and sticks. I really didn't know what was going on. And I had some investigators come out. And uh, they came out about three different times and did an overnight. And, you know, the first time they came out, they found footprints and they did some hollers and got some answers and did some wood knocking and got some answers and kind of blew us all away. I mean, we, we kind of thought the place was haunted for years, too. And then once we found out, then my son and I just really got interested in it. We started trying to study them daily. We started going out there and trying to communicate with them and trying to study them. You, you would just have to experience the thickness of my brush. In the summertime, you can't see from your waist down. One afternoon, independent photographer John D. Patton visited this habituation site. He set up a high-resolution camera on a tripod out on the porch, chose a spot to focus where the woman had seen activity in the past, and then from inside the house, remotely snapped a shot once every 30 seconds or so for two hours. For the first hour and 55 minutes, nothing interesting appeared. It's definitely strange, and not at all what we would expect, but it is a face with two eyes. And you can see two fingers hooked over a higher branch. After just 90 seconds, the small creature withdraws again into the leaves. On another day, by herself, this habituator reached a camera into a suspected nest area. can't see this far down in here with your eyes just looking but you can see out I've put up my own little sticks down here to let them know that that was going to be my area and that's when they started lining the paths pretty much to let me know okay <laughs> I'm thinking it means that's fine you can come this far but stay out of the rest of it, <laughs> which I respect um, they they added this <laughs> after I was done. So, I guess it's their area. I definitely know they know when I'm there. I think they know every time I step out this door because I hear them whistle. Um, every time we come out the door, they whistle. They give little whistles. Area to area in the yard, they whistle the same way. Um, 
different little whistles, different places. You bet got that down, boy. <laughs> Much as I think I know. I don't know nothing about you. Nothing. He's here for me and you'll be here after me. <laughs>